What's up guys and welcome back for the road to top 10 in Ores RE. We are back on the ladder. We're using a Tauros that my boy Slurms passed me. Nice Tauros team. I think we're about 1200 and um, yeah, this Steelix walls a lot of his team. I'm actually going to lead off with Steelix just in case he leads off with Encino. That way I'm not in position to have to switch. Basically, Steelix beats Lee Gramble, leads Encino. And I mean, it's questionable versus Quillfish because I risk a Scald Burn. But even then, I take any hit and I do have the Defog, so... Um, I'm just going to get my rocks. If he wants to taunt me, I Defog later anyway. As he goes right for Scald, don't burn me. Thanks, buddy. So, uh, what I can do is go right with Slow King now. Because he's Scald and not like Waterfall or Boom or anything, I'm pretty sure he's more of a defensive variant. And uh, Slow King's actually a Mon that he does not handle well at all. So, I'm going to attempt to go for Calm Mind right here. Just because at plus one, I, I literally kill everything on his team. And what I can do is just throw off a Scald. Scald is better than Shy Shock because it was more likely that he would switch out right there. Uh, than anything else so uh, just because he couldn't do too much so I'm actually gonna switch on to my Fletchender on the um, on the potential of a uh, cycle shift right there and I'm gonna SD up just to see what his initial switching is or how he plays around this because had he stayed in I pretty much swept him right there but he does go cool fish which was the good play um, SD Verizion actually sweeps him hmm. That is good to know. I bet you I could take Scalds from Corsairs for days, and I bet you plus one Acrobatics probably to a KOs it. Uh, but, um, yeah, we actually go for it, because we do take a Scald pretty easily, and it does to a KO, it looks like. Yeah, we take that. Um, this should be a two a KO if he wants to switch out. I roost up later on Sigilyph anyway. Uh, though this Mon does put in work versus his team, if I get rid of Quillfish, the sooner I get rid of Quillfish, the easier it is. So, we're able to knock out Quillfish. Nice, no more spikes. I'll defog those away later with rocks up as well. Um, since Sino will die to plus one... Uh, acrobatics. Flygon comes out. Are you going to outrage? What are you going to do? What are you going to do, actually? Are you going to drop a Draco on me? We'll go Lix just to see. If he goes right for outrage, I heavy slam him. So I choose to defog in front of the threat. I'll take that, though. I don't want to take any attack he wants to go for. So uh, if he wants to go for an earthquake or something like that. So I actually opted to switch out to my Flygon. As that didn't really work out for me too much. I'll uh, U-turn into my Fletchender on the uh, Psycho Shift. And what I can do is SD up as he goes for his Cosmic Power because I'll be one boost ahead of him and I'll be able to take him on. Um, even though I don't live the Sword Power right now, I'm pretty sure this will do a lot of damage, which is, I think, better for me. He actually misplays and goes for the second Cosmic Power. Uh, definitely doubting the power of Fletchender. Yeah, I mean, you can keep letting your <laughs> Mons take all this damage. Uh, he does have Rocky Helmet right there, but that doesn't matter because I 2 a KO you, so good boy. And we know he's defensive Fletchender as well, so that's great to know because most of my team outspeeds him. Uh, you don't have priority, so you can take this plus one Acrobatics goodbye. <laughs> this Mon is a monster. Straight up monster. Uh, Flagon is going to come out. Hmm. I want to try and Roost because if he goes for Outrage, then I can beat him anyway. He goes for his own Roost, which is great because now I can just... <laughs> Willow Wisp you. Good boy. Nice and burnt. And I can just SD up again. I don't think he could touch me. Uh, probably Earthquake is his only attack. <laughs> okay, never mind. This man just dropped the Draco out of nowhere on me. But at this point, I'm pretty sure I got into my Verizion, SD up, and win. I mean, he could be Scarf Typhlosion, but the, it depends on what move he makes right here. Because if he stays in, I win. The, I win. Yeah. Nice Lumberry. Gonna burn that. Burn puts him in range of close combat anyway. He can't switch into anything on a close combat at all. So goodbye, Flagon. This man was Draco. My, I can respect that, though. Mono Draco. I can respect that. Um, Typhlosion is going to come out. I have Toro style speed, so I'm not really too worried about Sigalyph. I'm just going to close combat as he is Scarf. And what I can do is just go for the uh, Scald. I beat uh, Combine Sigalyph, but I can just turn off, throw off Scald. My bad. My bad if you heard Shofu right there. My bad. And what I can do is go right out to Tauros. Hit him with a nice rock climb on his um on his boost. Sheer force boosted. Catch that. Goodbye. Yum. My boy Tauros getting his kill. My bad if you heard Shofu. I'm actually about to go edit the uh after I finish recording this, I'm gonna go edit the X and Y Nuzlocke. And I can just tank this hit and go for I mean I can't tank it, but I can force him to go for eruption. Go out to Slow King, click scald. Um I tank eruption for days. We know he's scarf, so he can't do anything. I mean Sloking literally walls Typhlosion no matter what. 
Like, look at that. That was a crit. I didn't notice. And now his eruption is going to do even less, even though he's in blaze. Yep, goodbye. Seven. And that is going to be game. A. Hey. Smoking coming through. Even Toro's picking up that kill. So let's look for another game as we're on this ladder. And Justin, what's poppin', bro? I like his team. I definitely like his team. I'm just renaming the Shofu part. And, uh, hmm. Very weak to Tauros, especially because I have Fire Blast and Iron Tail. Oh, I love that. That is so cool. Shout out to Slurms, man. Such a cool, such a cool idea. I'm going to lead off with my Steelix because I feel like it beats the majority of his team as a lead, as it leads off with the x Cloud. Now, I do take any one hit from this thing. I don't necessarily need this mod for a team either. I'd rather just get a Red Rocks and take the Focus Blast for Fire Blast as he goes right for Boom Burst. Good play. I definitely agree with that because what Boom Burst does with Specs x Cloud is it weakens basically any switching you have uh, as he goes out to Blastoise. Now, I don't mind getting to uh, toxicing this thing just so my SD Verizion, I mean SD Verizion wins anyway, but I don't mind toxicing this thing on his Rapid Spin because I live Scald anyway, even a crit, and basically Toxic wears him down to the point, he could have refresh, but Toxic wears him down to the point where I get up my Stealth Rock no matter what, even if he wants to spam Scald, so, nice, and we can weaken him with Toxic, if he wants to go for Rapid Spin right here, he's going to die before he knocks me out, he's doing 0.9%, that is rounded down to, <laughs> that shouldn't even be one. He should be doing zero. But as you can see, um, he's not going to be able to spin no matter what. I just keep clicking Stealth Rock, honestly. And the great thing is that he'll be weak for Tauros. Like, I'll be able to go out to Tauros right now after the poison and go for Rock Climb. Lure in. Lure in DNC or Scavalier and pick up that kill. Assuming this does hit. So, Rock Climb will be able to knock him out. Sheer Force boosted easily. Uh, Uxie might be too a KO'd. It depends. Tauros is faster than Verizion too. Ooh, Tauros is about to put in work. Boy! Go ahead and hit. Go ahead and get the Ancy. Go ahead and hit a Scavalier. We got Iron Tail. We got Fire Blast. Love all these inaccurate moves on my team. <laughs> Nothing but inaccuracy. Uh, he could be CB. I don't know if I could risk this. But then again, if he's CB anyway, I don't have a switching. So I'm just going to go Fire Blast. If he's AV, he'll take it. He is not AV. He was CB. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, a Scavalier. Toro is putting in the work. So we sending out counters now? Uh, I feel like Flygon is pretty useless in this point, and even if he goes for SD, I can U-turn out of there anyway. He goes Deancey, which isn't too big of a deal because I can go for Earthquake regardless, and it'll be a solid 2 uh, Moonblast isn't even able to Oko me, which is pretty cool because he was a life or variant, and uh, I'll just go for Double Earthquake. Don't have to go for U-turn predicting anything at this point. Deancey is down. All Verizion needs a little bit of prior damage, and Tauros would have killed, so Tauros putting the team on its back. Not even bad. We're only eight minutes in. We two battles down. It is late at night, so I have to be a little bit lower. But as you can tell, um, the ladder isn't too too high on this at all. Top ten is fifteen eighty three. So if I wanted to, I could probably record all of Road's top, top ten in RU tonight. But I'm streaming XD Gale Darkness in a couple hours. You know, pretty excited for the new playthrough coming on the channel with CBB. This guy's team is sick too. Really, really weak to SD Verizion if I can get rid of um, Amoongus. Uh, I'm going to lead off with Steelix because I get off a of Toxic on anything. I think Combine Slowking destroys him. Like, actually destroys him. Um, so if he leads off a of Dredgon or even Gastrodon, I'm going to prioritize Toxic in this thing over everything. Um, just because it helps with the Slowking beating it 1v1. Now, uh, I'm going to go out to my Slowking because I wouldn't mind him burning me with Scald over Toxic, as he does burn me, which is great. Uh, the reason I say that's great is because now he can no longer, um, now he can no longer uh, Toxic me. Now I'm going to fire off a Scald, expecting him to want to switch. He can't do too much, even if he wants to stay in. Scrafty comes out, and it looks to be, maybe off, I'm not sure, no, we see leftovers. So he's definitely not offensive Scrafty. Um, he looks to be the knockoff variant, and what I can do is go right out to Verizion and get a nice plus one. Um, Fletchender also beats him if I weaken Blastoise. Whenever Fletchender comes in, it gets a kill. So speaking of which, I'm actually going to go out to Fletchender now because he's going to knock off right here. As he goes for Drain Punch anyway, and what I can do is just burn something with the Will-O-Wisp. I don't expect him to stay in. He's burnt. Uh, I expect Dredgagon to want to come out, maybe Blastoise, and weakening both of those. Uh, Dredgagon, of course, because of the... Um, because of its ability. And uh, Flygon is just a great switch in because this is his rocker. I'm pretty sure it's Rocky Helmet, Dredgagon as well. And what I can do is just defog the hazards right off the bat. I don't mind if he goes for Dragon Tail right here. I, he's burnt. He's not going to do crap to me anyway. He even phases me out into Slowking. 
which is pretty good for me, um, considering I can just Psy Shock right here and do a bit more damage on this Drudgegon. We want to get rid of this thing before I do anything else, and I uh, actually want to go out back on the Flygon to defog away the hazards as he goes out to Scrafty. Now, he more than likely has Shed Skin. I don't care. I'm defogging away these rocks no matter what. Uh, Drudgegon is already at 32%. He does not have a Wish Passer on his team or anything like that. I take its attacks regardless. He does get that nice shed skin right there. But what I can do is go for U-turn and um, keep up a bit of momentum. His his knockoff isn't going to do crap to my flag on anymore. I decided to go Tangrowth, which I agree with. Tangrowth is actually an, uh, an issue for this team, I think. I feel like Tauros just starts coming in once I get in on uh, Gashardon, and then I just start clicking Rock Climb. Uh, but at this point, Tauros is a threat, so... <sighs> Tangrowth is a threat, excuse me. I'm going to go out to Celix and see how he reacts to this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to attempt to Toxic you. We'll see how you react to this. I'm going to attempt to Toxic him. Goes out to Gastrodon. Good play, good play. Uh, we can get up our rocks, I think. I want to I want to force in his Blastoise and rocks allow me to 2 KO everything on his team. So I'm good with that, because even if he goes back on a Drudgegon, I can always Defog. If he wants to go for Scald, um, as he does, he could potentially burn me, but... Uh, at this point, I think I'll just go for Earthquake and do a bit more damage to this Gastrodon if he chooses to knock me out because, oh my god, <laughs> that did 10 million, yo, that actually did 10 million, and I can go out to my Tauros and get this nice revenge kill, um, obviously all my moves are inaccurate, which sucks, but I'm gonna go for that nice sheer force boosted rock climb, Tangrowth, which can take it if I do hit nice, will not appreciate this Fire Blast after. This hits it on the special side. He's definitely physically defensive based on that damage too. So this Fire Blast, even though it's 117 special attack, it is sheer force and life or boosted. Tangrowth does not have that solid special defense at all. I'm assuming he's physically defensive, so... Tauros putting in the work! Put that team on your back, bruh! Ah, that's my boy Tauros! Alright, we got rid of one of the Pokemon that, I'm, um, that he needed to sweep. Uh, Scrafty is going to come out, no reason not to go out to Fletchender, and no reason not to go for Acrobatics. At this point, his switching does not exist. So, we tank the knock, um, and... Uh, actually, I want to go for Roost right now. Do I? Uh, I think will o -Wisp is actually the play, because I'm, I was thinking that... Uh, I was thinking that his... Um, Blastoise would want to come out, but... He decides to bring out Drudgegon, which I can just roost on and then defog on the rocks anyway later. Uh, as basically I want to be a full HP to take on all of his mons, and I can defog on the Blastoise if I want to. Uh, speaking of which, Blastoise is going to come out. Slowking is just a solid Pokemon in this scenario, as he is going to Rapid Spin. And uh, what I am going to do is go back out into my Flygon and just defog away his hazards, honestly. Uh, at this point, I don't need Flygon for anything else. Get rid of those rocks so my Fletchender always comes in at full HP. Nice and full. As he chooses to bulk up at this point, okay. I see you, bro. I see you bulking. I see you, bro. I like what I've seen. Ooh. I think he's Rocky Helmet Blastoise, too. I didn't see any item on him. Um, I'm actually just going to U-turn out into my Virizion because if he goes for knockoff... As he goes for the bulk up. I can just SD up because I can take one Drain Punch. Oh, he has Poison Jab. Okay, wait, that's bad. Uh, is it bad? I mean, it, it could be bad. He's not Rest, which is what we know. I have to Will-O-Wisp him so I can take his hit. Goes for Poison Jab. Thankfully, does not... Uh, Poison me right there as we're just gonna fire off some acrobatics. I thought he was the uh, bulk up rest set, but I did not know he had poison jab at all. And what I can do is actually SD up, I believe. Uh, no, there's actually no point in not going for the acrobatics because it will 2 a KO him no matter what. Yeah, even, even though he did get obviously that health back, I can knock him out with the next one. He's also in range of pretty much Tauros. If, if this guy wants to go Blastoise, then Tauros is going to have fun anyway. Even if he has Rocky Helmet. So, goodbye, Scrafty. And with Scrafty gone, they call me Slow King, kicking, clicking Psy Shock like three times and winning the game anyway. Ah, that's what they call me. <laughs> Blastoise comes out. No reason not to go out into my Slow King right here. It's already burnt. I can save my Fletchender for Amoongus later. 
Are you specs? What the hell are you? <laughs> I'm just gonna throw off a scald. I don't want a side shock right here. I want to scald burn this blast. What are? Is this supposed to be a mega? And he just for. <laughs> Because the reason I did this is because, I, I mean, I take on Gastrodon anyway, I literally start comm mining up, and I have speed for his, um, I have speed for Amoongus anyway, so I can go for Slack Off right here, even if he wants to recover, he's obviously toxic, so he's on a timer, and what I can do is just calm mine, even if he has clear smog, I mean, because of the toxic, like I said, he's on that timer, he's not gonna do crap to me anyway, um, even if Amoongus wants to come out, it has to have clear smog if it wants to beat me, otherwise Psy Shock will be a potential, if not a 2 at KO, on his Amoongus. Yeah, so Amoongus comes out. Let's see if you have clear smog. And as he clear smogs me, that's like the best attack he could do. Look, look 384 special attack. Uh, special defense, excuse me. Oh my god, easy to a KO. Three easy. <laughs> and I could just Psy Shock again. Um, I either get a kill right now or I severely weaken Blastoise to the point where I click Acrobatics and knock it out. So it doesn't matter what I do right here. I don't even have to switch out. There shouldn't be no speed type because I have 30. Uh, I have nine, um, some speed EVs. <laughs> that was I. Something on my words right there. And the Amoongus goes down. And they call me blah 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 Blastoise. So Blastoise is gonna come out. And uh, what I think I'm actually gonna do is save my Sloking, switch it out, get that nice regenerator, go out to Flygon on the Dark Pulse. <laughs> I did 13. <laughs> Probably has Ice Beam, but I'm just gonna Earthquake him anyway. This might actually. Actually, that burn helped me because I'll go down. So I'll take that. I'll def. I mean. He can't switch around. He wasn't going to be able to switch around anyway, but I'm pretty sure Tauros is going to be able to pick up the kills right now, as he even lets his Gashion get weakened to the point where my Tauros just comes in. A Tauros, let's go. Let's go. Nice rock climb. Nice rock climb. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ayy. My boy Tauros, shake that bull. It's fine. I have the Renderosu. Alright, hit. Bet you Aura Sphere, if he has it, will do four. This man had a mega blast of his down here for guy. <laughs> nah, definitely you're the best I've faced so far. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that, bro. Good game, man. Just gotta keep climbing. Good game, man. Okay. We're almost at 1300. Let's keep going. That was the nicest thing somebody ever said to me. Okay, a lot of people say nice things, but it was interesting. That was genuine. Genuine, whatever. Anyway, we got another game, and uh, this guy has Smear Gold plus four. Great, great, great. <sighs> Love Smeargle. Um, because he does have Smeargle, I'm going to lead off on my Verizion. I have my Lumberry, and we are going to Leaf Blade the hell out of this Smeargle. Hmm. We're actually going to close combat, because we don't want to risk not bringing you down to your Sash. You might be Trick Room, actually. But we have the Lumberry, so we can take any hit. He does get the Transform. Okay. I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. What does this do? <laughs> You gonna CC me back? I got flesh in there. I ain't going for no stone edge. And I roost up on everything. I roost up on his switchings. His switching is actually oxy, so I roost up on that pretty safely. Um, we already know he was focused actually anyway. I just didn't want to risk a speed size. So we're able to get rid of the smear goal, which is really nice. Uh, Baina is gonna come out. <sighs> his rocker is oxy. I hate dealing with Baina. We're just gonna go Steelix. Uh, though we need Steelix from Meloetta. Uh, he decided to actually trap his own bayonet, so I'll... You have mean look as well? What is this? What am I supposed to fear? I bet you he has mean look, but I'm getting on my rocks because he will lose me. Okay. I mean, I'm losing half my health, but we take those. And uh, we'll just toxic right here. Nice. I would have loved to switch, actually. <laughs> Do I lose my Stilix this turn? Almost, almost, almost. Uh, I'm just going to double toxic just in case he wants to switch as he has protect. Interesting, um, but I'm pretty sure that's in range of acrobatics. That's 100% in range of acrobatics. So we'll just go Fletch and revenge kill. I'm gonna keep Fletching there alive though, just because of actually I think I want to roost right here. Because yeah, if he's gonna curse, he's gonna kill himself. I end up at more HP anyway, and I come in on rocks regardless. Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why I made my play. I stand by my play. We can go out to Slow King, which it kind of wins, but we could take any hit he wants to go for. It has. Sky attack, so that means his next attack is acrobatics. That is gonna hurt like hell. No, he actually has Brave Bird as well. Okay, I'll take that. I'll just go for you. I didn't mean to. I meant to go for U-turn, but I guess it worked out anyway. And 
the man, the myth, the legend, the best Pokemon to go out right there, by the way, was Virizion because it actually gets a kill while Tauros can miss, but our Tauros does not miss at all. Uxie comes out. We're going to 2 KO you. We're going to 2 KO you while we're paralyzed. You know what? This is no fun. <laughs> Has the memento with the reflect up. Okay, Meloetta. Meloetta looking kind of tough. Kind of tough. We got to stall out those reflects as he is calm mind. All I got to do is stall out the reflect, close combat it, and then I have the acrobatics to win the game. So I think I'm good. Yeah. Unless he's that stupid store set. Ah, Thunder Wave doing what it does best, guys. Doing what it does best. And we can just go out to Slow King right here and click Scald. You can also click Slack Off because apparently he only has Psychic to hit me. But all I'm trying to do is stall out his uh, turn, so... Yeah, and if all he is is psychic to hit me, then I could just combine up myself uh, and beat him 1v1. Right, let's go for another combine. Yep, he is that set that we faced before. So we beat this 1v1. Unless he flinches me to death. Um, let's see how much the Psy Shock does. <laughs> well, that, that's a dead hit. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. And now I'm plus three boosted alongside him. He literally cannot touch us. This was the set that I played, but the guy had Thunder Wave and he changed the Psychic because he didn't want to lose to us anymore. But we're going to go for Psy Shock because it's our only attack to really hit him. That does a nice amount of damage. I can just boost up and now we 2 a KO him. And if he wants to rest. Yeah, we, we 2 a KO you, bro. You're not touching me. 35% or 3 a KO. Salic Berry? Oh man, oh man. What is happening? <laughs> but like I said, unless he flinches us to death, we do 3 a KO him right now. Really cool set. Well, there it is. That's such an annoying move. But, I, I mean, as long as I calm mind up, he can't touch me, right? Yeah, and if he wants to go for sight, he has to go for rest right here. So I do about 50%, right, with Psyshock, if I'm not mistaken? Oh, he messed up. Hey, you giving me that free hit, too. I'll take that. I'm going to lose to this, aren't I? I'm gonna somehow lose to this. <sighs> yes. Yes. I wanna somehow that knock him out. How much is Snore's base power? I was thinking about sacking Verizion right there just in case he flinches me. Thankfully he does not, and we we're able to pull through. Good lord. But if Verzian didn't go down the snore, then basically he would be able to not- Well, actually he had to psychic me. Because then if he wakes up, I see see him. And I do damage. I don't even know. I don't even know. But let us get another game. Ooh, you guys, I can't, I can't wait till you guys see this X and Y randomizer, man. The stuff that went down in this episode. Oof. Ooh, no spoilers, but oof. 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 Just sounds. No spoilers, just sounds. Let's check the ladder, though. Are you... Piff is number one. Joris. Joris is up here. The bleeding. This face that I would see on Etika's videos. Mm hmm. Not to worry. <laughs> That's a pun. Uh, <laughs> Fairy Peak. And we got our game. Let's go. Uh, very weak to Fletchinger. Rocker equals Uxie. I lead off with Steelix and I beat Lead Ambipom. Leads off a Gerda though, very good lead on my opponent's part. Um, but I'm just going to get up my rocks anyway. As he bulks up turn one. Well, he didn't really lose much from that, so I agree with that play. I need to keep this mod for Ambipom. I'll just go Slow King on the drain. Because if you take any hit anyway, and we'll just fire off a Skull. I take his knock uh, because of my Cobra Berry. That did damage too. Hmm. This is a threat, huh? Double knock knocks me out. But uh, whatever, because um, <laughs> Steelix, between Steelix and Verizion and Tauros, I'm pretty sure I'm good anyway. So I'll just acrobatics. Not even a 2 KO. But knock doesn't do crap to me either. What I can do is just roost up as well. Oh, no, I can't, actually. I can't afford to roost. <laughs> and I get the roll. I can't afford to roost because uh, obviously I would lose my flying type and then Drain Punch would be able to knock me out. So I would rather acro, and I actually paid off because I got a roll on him. It was really nice for me. Um, Verizion counter is non-existent, so I'm going to go out to Verizion right here. And just SD up on his Uxie, I believe. 
You would go Uxie right here. You should go Uxie. You feel you fear a Leaf Blade and Pump should not come out. Uxie should come out. Great. I'm hoping Leaf Blade 2 at KOs because I do have a Lumberry. So when this Uxie tries to T-Wave me, ooh, we get a crit. So it would have came down to probably a roll right there. But he is not even knocked me out. And um, I can probably afford to CC, but I don't have to CC because his switch in, his grass resist is Rotom. So it wouldn't touch me anyway. But we're able to knock him out. Really nice for us while keeping Fletchender in the back. Ambipom is going to come out as it should. And I can go right out to Steelix on the fake out. Yum, 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 yum. Lisa also. And just fire off a Toxic right here. I take low kick anyway. Toxic hits Blastoise, which is what I'm expecting to want to come out. Uh, well, it doesn't hit Blastoise. I lied, guys. Um, but Flagon is just a good mid ground because if he wants to go out to anything, I can just U turn it out of there versus. So I'll take Flagon as the mid ground on his Scald anyway. Yeah, I'll take that. And I can just Earthquake because we're not going to let our Virizion get burnt right here. But I'll just Earthquake, get off as much damage as possible. As he has Ice Beam as well. Hmm. I feel like Taurus is good to weaken him to put him in range of Leaf Blade without risking my Virizion getting burnt. So we're just going to Rock Climb. And uh, basically, Rock Climb 2 KOs everything. Or Oko something. He is in Torrent Boosted Scald. Doesn't burn us though, as we'll be able to knock him out with the next Rock Climb. Uh, assuming we hit, of course. Again, his switchings don't exist. And I'm pretty sure Steelix plus whatever... Well, I guess he thought his switching existed. Well, it kind of did exist, but I don't think it existed, really. Hmm. Are you Scarf, my friend? I'm not going to let you Vault Switch. Yeah, and what we can do right now is actually double out into our Tauros, just in case he is not Scarf. Uh, because I'll sack Tauros on the Blastoise sack. He actually doubles into Scrafty, so this is even better for us because we get out um, a nice rock climb at this point. Also, Blastoise is... Never mind. I thought we got off a rock climb, but I was wrong. <laughs> I was going to say, also, Blastoise is in range of Acrobatics, and so is Rotom um, and Ambipom almost. So I go, out to I go out to Virizion, click Close Combat, pick up my kill. Thankfully, the Scrafty is gone. That was the last threat that he had because basically, whenever Ambipom comes out, I go, I don't even have to go out to Steel Lakes at this point. Like, I can be a man and just CC right here. But I'm not a man. I could be a man, like I said, because I expect them to U-turn right there. But I can't be in range of Fake Out. That's my biggest issue, so. A Blastoise is going to come out. I'm assuming he's going to Scald. Scald, but does not get the burn. And what I can do is just uh, Leaf Blade because there's no point of CCing because Rotom cannot touch me anyway. And plus Leaf Blade knocks it out anyway. Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> okay, that's good to know. Uh, Amapom is going to come out. And always Steelix is the play of choice. As he doubles down the Blastoise, okay, I see you, buddy. I see you. I like what I'm seeing. But, but I click Earthquake at this point because Skull does not knock me out. Goodbye. And uh, now Amapom has to take like 400 life or hits. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Good game. Good game, bro. I did sure. My boy still looks laughed at that. Alright, so this is the last game uh, of the night. Or whatever you want to call it. Very, very weak to Verizion. I'm leading off with it uh, because it stopped Steelix in its tracks. Oh my god, it's happened. Have fun, man. Actually, very weak to Fletchender. Uh, if this is Mega Aldino, that's annoying. But I'm leading off with Rizion because it beats Seismito lead. He's off with Hoopa, though. Good play. Uh, I don't want to take a Psychic. I also don't want to switch out into my Slow King on a Shadow Ball. And I also need, like, a, it depends what's, what hit he is. But I think he's Life Orb just based on that damage. Not well, potentially. What I'm going to do is U turn right here. Uh, because I can U-turn out into Tauros, if anything. I, d I think he's going to switch out into Seismitoad. Which is why, because uh, it gives him the rocks right there. But, ah, nice. And Verizion comes out. And, uh, hmm. See, I want to click Close Combat. Because Leaf Blade is so obvious. I'm just going to CC. <sighs> but I don't want to stay in. I'm going to CC. Because he's going out to Braviary. All right. Oh, wow, Adino. So, that's nice. We get to hit it before the Mega. Uh, and we can go right out into Steelix on his Mega. 
if he wants to or if he wants to double out into his Braviary. Uh, because he's more likely to mega with this Audino, that way it takes the next CC. Yep. Gets up a wish. Hmm. I'll definitely Stealth Rock right here. Uh, if he wants to protect the Audino, that's fine. Um, if Audino switches out, that's even like that's fine as well because obviously Audino can no longer come in on me. And what I can do is go route to Verizion and click Leaf Blade because whatever comes in, like before I was fearing Braviary, but now with the Stealth Rock up, there's no point in even close combating. I have Lumberry as well, so Scald isn't going to do crap. He actually Toxic's making a really nice play, uh, predicting my read, or my switch, excuse me. But again, it's not going to work out because I do have that Lumberry. And at this point, uh, Verizion is just going to threaten something ridiculously. Nothing wants to come in on this. Well, apparently the Audino, but like it's not going to tank this well at all. And I can just double Leaf Blade right here. Adino doesn't outspeed me <laughs> at all. So, uh, the Adino is gone, and we've successfully prevented rocks just for, for now, just with offensive pressure. Even though he did make a really nice play, predicting my Verizion, um, which I definitely, good play on his part. Um, the fact that the uh, Adino is gone is huge. So, Braviary is more than likely, does come out, as you can see. And what I can do is sack my uh, Fly on right here. If he's bulk up, my Steelix does beat it with Heavy Slam and the Toxic, and I also do have Scald, so I'm actually going to sack my Flag on him, thinking he's Scarf, uh, as he does go for Defog. Oh, he's defensive. Okay, so I'm assuming he has Defog and U-Turn. I'm just going to Roost right here then, because then keep my Flag on healthy. I'm not too worried about Jolteon because I have two ground types on this team, and Slow King take a hit after a boost anyway. He has bulk up Defog, interesting. Oh, we're just going to U-Turn it out of there then, and Toxic the hell out of him with our Steelix. Yeah, Brave Bird, yum. <laughs> and we could just Toxic, which puts Seismitoad on a timer, or even puts the Braviary on a timer. Bulk up Defog is really interesting. I hopefully he got rid of that for Sub. I don't think Sub makes sense on this. You don't have any Roost or any Recovery. But regardless, we're getting off a Toxic right here as Seismitoad is going to come out. <laughs> Isn't that the second time we missed that mod? Uh, Verizion is the play of choice. Definitely, I just threatened him. <laughs> Did I miss that twice already? Did I? No, that was another game. That had to be another game. Regardless, Verizion is the play of choice, as he does burn me right here. Very, very annoying. Um, but I can deal with him. I'm going to Leaf Blade, regardless of what he does. I really wish I hit that Toxic, because then, had I hit the Toxic, I go out into Flygon. And just spam Defog. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, spam. Oh, I just smacked my desk. I spam Defog, that way he can't touch me. But now, unfortunately, I have to Leaf Blade because I expect him to stay in just because he burnt me. So I hope I get a crit right here. <laughs> That'd be nice, uh, definitely. But it does go Hoopa. As we do Leaf Blade that, that is going to put it in range of Acrobatics, so I'll take that. Uh, definitely. What I can do is go right out to Flygon. Um, like I said, that Leaf Blade does put it in range of Acrobatics. Um, hitting Toxic on Scythe and Soul also would have worn it down for my Fletchender to sweep my opponent. But regardless, I'm good with that damage as we are going to catch this Spec Psychic right here. And um, if he knocks us out, we have Tauros to go out to after. Ah. So we do go down. However, however, what I can do is go right out to Verizion and click Leaf Blade one more time. Uh, if he wants to go out into his Braviary, that's completely fine. He does go Braviary. Uh, I actually expect him to double out into Hoopa, predicting our Steelix because we already showed Steelix. So I'm actually going to go for double Leaf Blade. Uh, if he Brave Birds anyway, I get up my rocks, I guess. Um, I do think he, this is the turn where he doubled, though. Yeah, he does double. Uh, predicting my Steelix as we are able to Leaf Blade the Seismitoad. Great, great, great. We take that damage. Um, I'll go for it again, bro. I don't mind. I'll take that nice damage. I'm not trying to lose to Absol, though. So I do have to be careful about that, which is why I'm keeping my Steelix healthy as well. But Brave Area is going to come out. And again, Steelix is going to come out right now. I think he double again, to be honest. I'll go for double Leaf Blade. I really do think he double again. I can't let my, uh... I can't let my, um... My Steelix get too weakened, so I'm just gonna go for double Leaf Blade. Allow him to actually roost on me. Okay, that's his last move. That's good to know. Which means that my Steelix can beat him. Alright, now. We do tank him on. We do take him on. And Seismitoad was weakened as well. This just has so much of a burden. So hopefully this Toxic does connect with anything at this point. 
that burn really threw me back. Um, also, missing Toxic just sucked, but uh, thankfully we do hit on the Hoopa. And I can just sack my Virizion, uh, keeping my Steelix healthy. Hoopa will go down to the next burn, uh, Toxic, excuse me, hit anyway, so we don't have to deal with that. Steelix is still around, but Steelix is so pressured because it takes on Jolteon, Absol, and Braviary. Uh, but at the same time, a boosted Slowking also does the same. So he does double out into Jolteon, okay. If you want to make that play, make that play. Um, I'll just close combat right now. Allow him to knock me out. And what I can do is... That's tough. I'm about to Steelix, and... I think I want to go. Yeah, I definitely want to go for rocks right here. I expect him to sack Koopa. He's not going to let me earthquake him. He wouldn't let me earthquake him to weaken me, would he? Well, that's not a bad play because of Absol. But he has hidden power eyes, so he really can't touch me. Yeah, I expect him to sack Koopa right here, and I want to get on my rocks. It does sack the Hoopa nice as we are able to get up rocks on the Hoopa down. I'll take that. And uh, now, if Seismetal comes out, I'm hard switching directly into Tauros. I'm praying I don't get burnt by Scald. <laughs> but that is my play. I'm pretty sure he's just going to Scald right here. But if he wants to be rocks for the Fletching there, I'll take that. So thankfully he doesn't Scald burn me. And now Rock Climb is getting a kill. Uh, I'm pretty sure Seismetal dies if I do connect. You know, I hate saying if I do connect because I feel like I'm doubting the move itself. And then it's going to be like, oh yeah? Well, <laughs> you don't think I'm going to hit? Now I'm not going to hit, okay? Fine. Um, Absol is definitely the biggest threat though, no matter what. So when that thing comes out, I do have to rock climb it, 100%. Uh, though, uh, if Seismetoad does fall down to this rock climb, <laughs> falls down while rock climbing, that's not funny, okay? People fall down all the time while rock climbing. That is kind of funny, actually. I've fallen down while rock climbing. And I got stuck by the rope and kept going. Didn't even use the wall, I just climbed up the rope. He actually sacks the Braviary, so please hit. Ah. Nice. I'll take that. Um, Zen Headbutt is a higher chance to hit, so we are going to go for that um, because it is more accurate as we are able to knock out the Braviary, which means my rocks are here to stay. Nice, nice, nice. And uh, I'm assuming Jolteon is going to want to come out? Potentially? How much does Jolteon have to be for Acrobatics from Fletcher to knock it out? Check this nice calc. Are you Swords Dance? Jolteon, are you all on attacker? Acrobatics is 37 to 44, so we need a lot of hits on this monster to deal with it. I feel like he'll double because of Steelix. I'm just gonna rock climb as he does double. Great, so let's hit. As we are able to hit the Seismitoad, nice. So he did double because of Steelix, which is my, I don't know why I'm saying the game is not over yet, dude, you still have Absol. Um, but he did double because of Steelix, and I still have to hit my moves, which is the other play. Thankfully, Tauros is coming through towards the end of the live itself. Hey, 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 hey. Um, that was my best play, though. I can't let, I can't hard switch directly into Steelix if he HP ice there, because that puts me in range of after rocks if he wants to get them up of super power from Absol. So my best play is always sacking this and then going out to Steelix right now, clicking Earthquake. Clicking Earthquake and then Earthquake in the Absol when that comes out. Um, because even if he goes for Superpower to knock me out, basically Earthquake is always the best play right now. Because basically, if he goes for Superpower, um, even if it doesn't knock me out, Earthquake knocks him out. If he SDs up, Earthquake puts him in range of a few Life Orb hits. If somehow Superpower does knock me out with a crit, he's going to be minus one anyway. So my Fletchender, which is, I believe, at full HP, can indeed take a Sucker Punch and knock him out with the Acrobatics from there. So Tauros really putting the team on its back this entire live. You deserve the thumbnail, bro. You're standing up there next to Winnie. I could tell you that right now. Tauros definitely takes it right now, guys. I'm going to tell you that right now. Tauros takes it. So, it's not over yet. It's definitely not over. However, the Jolteon is... Um, if he has Sigma Beam, I think that's the play I would go for if I was my opponent. Yeah, I think Sigma Beam is the play I would go for if I was my opponent. Try to go for Confusion. Um, but either way, after two more Life Orb hits, which is what Jolteon needs to be able to even think of Double Crit knocking me out and me missing Earthquake, um, that's the only way he'll be able to knock me out. So, I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe, guys. Could be wrong, though. Could be wrong, definitely. 
but I'm pretty sure I'm safe. We shall she do. Cade, what you thinking about, Cade? The heck you thinking about, bruh? It definitely got a lot closer than I think it should have been, um, just because of the. He's really thinking about this play hard. It, it definitely got a lot closer than I think it should have been, um, because of the burn on Seism Toad. I'm missing Toxic early on it as well. Some solid plays on my opponent's part, solid doubles that I think actually in the end lost him the game because I was forced into a position. Not that he lost just yet. Maybe he's just going to time out. But regardless, I put him in a position to lose the game. Um, but yeah, I really am proud of how Tauros worked in RU. This is just a prime example of, you know, the Mon doesn't have to be in the tier for it to put in work. Uh, but my boy Tauros, I'm actually looking for a nice picture of Tauros right now. I love Tauros. Tauros is such a cool Pokemon, I think. Does anybody agree with me? I hope it gets a Mega. It's Mega is... <laughs> it's Mega is the bull. <laughs> the, uh, my boy Afro Smash, that's his Mega. But it looks like he's gonna time out, so... I'm just gonna say good game, take his points, and we're gonna end the live right there. So thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you guys next time. Cue the outro.